Now, I can't remember now, so let's have a look. Yeah, she hasn't got mesmerized, so do we... I think we pick this up on her, just to be safe. That'll refill these and mesmerize as well, so... Because there is another one outside as well, so... This glow, it could be the red sulfur. We don't know... I mean, just... Guaranteed to be at least another fight here. He's growing out of the bodies. It doesn't change what we got to do. Let's just do it quick. Right, yeah. So this is. Remain here. It might actually be better just trying to scout around here just with one person. I don't think going to bump into enemies until we um, collect this item so we should I would think we should be relatively safe I'm going to risk it anyway I just don't feel we're going to bump into anything until uh, until after curse of life what's this Oh, okay. It's a curse of life. This unit is standing near red sulfur and recovers 10 health per round. That's interesting. So that, I'm guessing, is where we're going to be going out. So we don't want to take the sample yet, because I've no doubt that's going to... In that case... May as well get I think we're to go and stand in this. So I don't I'm assuming that doesn't have any negative effects. It doesn't look like it. I'm just basically looking around for any items because I, st I do still want to find that uh, last journal as well. Because after this room, it doesn't look like there's, uh, there's any other places to go. Okay, so when we take this, I'm guessing we're going to get enemies from both of these sides here. Um, I'm guessing, anyway. So let's see. I have the red sulfur. Time to go. It's a hair strum. What was that? I hear something. What have we here? Pelham locks pets in my domain? I will not have it. You will not take the red sulfur. I will burn you all to ash. Now that's only saying three enemies. So, I'm assuming that there's a lot more than that. So we've got three here, plus reinforcements on the way. We've got three here, with reinforcements on the way. Um, okay, so what... So we're escape is this way. So I'm going to guess... I'm gonna guess that yeah. the quasi immortal Strum has plundered his way to power. His brutal attacks burn anyone foolish enough to approach him. Okay, we have. I'm sure we have dealt with him before. Yes, yeah, so that's come up with now. It's twelve enemies. That's more like it. So. Okay, let's think about this. D 
you know what? I'm actually thinking the best course of action here. I don't think it's worth trying to run through them all. I think, well, I mean, that's an option, but I don't think it's wise. I actually think... The trouble is, there's going to be a lot of enemies here. We're going to, we've got 12 enemies. We're going to get more from each one of these towers in, like, four turns. But if we risk running past these, I mean, we're going to, we're going to need at least, I think, three turns to, to, to run out of here. So the other option is, is if we fall back this way, you know, I think that might be better. I really do. The problem is now we've already moved down up, up there, which isn't ideal. Um, okay, so we can pull Anna back to here. Celestine, I think we'll bring way back here. Ingrid again, pretty much as far back as we can get. And same with Eddie. I mean, this may not be the best play here, but I just feel that we don't want to be pushing forward. Um, we don't really want to stay where we are because and we've got them on three sides. So we'll soon see. We'll soon see if that is uh, a good play or not now. I'm even tempted, actually. Well, first of all, we want to get Anna further down. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually even tempted to to pull even further back here. We also don't want enemies to be stood in the in the buff either, that's another thing. Okay, so um Now Ingrid I guess could potentially uh that, that's probably not gonna work. Um Yeah, no, I, I think I think we just do the same thing here. We just play it safe for a couple of rounds and we just take them as they come to us. I'm not even gonna take those shots. First sign of movement. I'd say this is <laughs> it really may not be the best play, but yeah. still your mind. We'll see what happens. Whatever kind of chaos that can sow is gonna be a good thing. We've got other ways of refilling that as well as as well as hopefully stress breaks and finishes we've got. Um, she's got a Vigor Tonic, we've got Anna's ability, I think Anna's still got a Vigor Tonic as well, so I just feel, well, we'll see. I don't know why Eddie didn't shoot Ben, it's right in his, I know he's behind the wall, but it's still in his cone. Because that is the last thing, we don't want to be losing APs. So 
Now, all these have only got one AP. Um, okay, so it may be a good time to use this. We can do it. So we're gonna have to move again now because we're just again we're getting them on all sides of us here. Um, what can Eddie see in the way of just one guy? Is that all he can see? Um. That daze was was bad actually. Um, that was really bad. <laughs> really could have done without that. So what abilities does he have? Um, he's immune to fire damage. So when attacked, he gains a fire shield that provides temporary armor. Next round, it bursts triggering an explosion. He's got an explosive shot. He can heal from all nearby enemies. Okay. Or we can pull a target to him as well. He's got a slam. Right. Not great fun then, in other words. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna stick to my guns here again. We're gonna we're gonna pull back again. We will start doing damage at some point, but we we are going to keep pulling back just for now, I think. Oh, she's not in a great spot, actually. Do we just run, or do we take the evade. I think we're going to have to run. I'm just hoping again not many of them get in range on this turn. We've still got this guy for this round at least. Come here. Yeah, that's fine. I will crush your feeble bodies and sustain myself on your soul. Yeah, this is all good. This is all good stuff. It's all just wasting the turns. The only problem is here, we're going to have the towers as well. <laughs> but obviously we have, we have got more ways of getting mesmerizers, so... A lot of enemies. So they're coming in on the next turn. These are coming in on the next turn as well. Okay, so um, we don't have the mesmerized guy anymore. The problem is that we can't do a whole lot here with Ingrid yet. That's the problem. Um, Again, we can only see one guy with Eddie, so that's not much use either. These are all going to be coming in on the next turn, really. We can start taking some shots at some of these, I guess, but we've still got, we have got Motivate. Um, I mean, I want to save Curse, really, for for Strum. I want it because it's probably better to try and stress break him. We could possibly get rid of, well, try and get rid of this guy. 
That crystal is mine. Mine! Because he's gonna have burning as well. Um For a knife. It's only a three ram cooldown, so we'll we'll take Poison this. Women. I mean hopefully. Um yeah, that's not gonna help us at the moment, neither's that. I mean we could get the kill with her now, but no good sending her in there. around here I guess I don't really we could take the kill on Ingrid but yeah we're gonna we'll do this we're gonna take the burning here but uh, oh in fact no she's got the armor of course so she doesn't take burning forgot all about that I actually forgot all about that okay that makes it a bit more interesting so um, Bit early to use that. Obviously, Ingrid can't stay there. But she could potentially. Now, the question is can. We uh, can't really do anything on Eddie. We're just going to have to probably take an overwatch. Don't move a muscle now. What do we want to do on Ingrid? That's, that's the question. Um, I guess he won't be. Yeah, I don't know, actually. It doesn't actually say he's immune to, to knockdowns. So we don't want to use Onslaught there. Um, so he's knocked down. Can't take stick and move. Oh, we can take stick and move. Okay, so we'll do this then. You dare! So that's his fire shield. We can now get a free movement. I just, I don't want her to be, um, to be up here on her own, that's, that's the problem. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just come all the way back. See what happens. Hopefully, they shouldn't be able to get in, in range. Hopefully, um, we are going to get the towers reinforcements, so we'll see what happens with them. I mean, we should probably concentrate on this guy first really he's he's obviously going to be the biggest individual threat but there is a lot of other enemies we're probably going to have to take a mesmerize again cavalry's coming so who have we got here there's a skeleton in with them two summoners okay so we're now on 15 so these these two are going to have to move so let, what have we got here now we still haven't got herald we've got bless but this is going to take um that's going to take an AP. We do have... Um, uh, motivate as well. Yeah, that, when that armour shreds then, that, that is obviously... It stays shredded for the entire mission, it, it seems. 
one, two. So I can only see them two again. Um. Oy, so she's going to have to move anyway. Um, we could take the poison. That's we've got stress flasks as well. That might not be a bad idea actually. That's that's that there is not a bad stress flask. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Uh, I'm going to take that. Bullets. Um. Not worth using that. I mean, poison bomb. Yeah, that might not be a bad. That might not be a bad shout, you know. Oh no, I need to move. Hold on. Oh, do I? Actually, need to move. I don't because I've got the armor. So yeah, I don't need to move. I'm the uh, I'm Ingrid. I don't need to move on Ingrid because I've got the fireproof armor. So that's actually okay. So we've got a couple of stress broken ones here now. I may not bother using encouragement actually on this uh, motivate. Sorry, on this turn. Um, oh, this is tempting. Okay, actually, yeah. Let, let's use let's use uh, motivate then, and we'll use it on um, Celestine and I think Eddie. Stop now. Okay, now we'll do Eddie first. So if he can move up a bit here. Now he can take a pretty decent light him up here now. One, two, we can even get strum as well. Three, four, five, and probably six. Yeah. Let's give him his fire shield. We do have marks. Now, what else have we got now? Oh, we need a reload. Oh, what a time. What a time for a reload. Um, that's a shame. That is a real shame. So... really tempted to uh, to run in and do this. Let's see what this... We're going to get the poison. Okay, so that gets us our signature charge back. Um, we mesmerise... What do we mesmerise? Well, we obviously can't mesmerise. I've made this mistake before. You can target Strum with mesmerise, but it doesn't work. I think what it does... Does it make him skip a turn, or does he actually just take one AP off him? I can't actually remember. So who do we want to mesmerise here? Probably someone like this guy. Shh. Forget your fears for now. Right, now. Let's think about this. We can then... Coup de gras. I will cut out your heart. Show them what for! Now, we want to move way back. Um, or, we could just move here, actually. Yeah, we could just move there. And we could even mesmerise somebody else, you know. Could mesmerise one of the summoners. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Let your mind go black. Listen yeah, I think that's fine. Now, Eddie, what do we do with you? Do we... Um, do we take this for what it is. And then, Eddie, do we throw a grenade? Or do we take the reload? I think we're going to have to... In fact, I mean, really, you know, he should probably move back. He's going to take some damage if he stays here. Unless we do smoke, that's another option. Smoke's an option. 
Yeah, let's do smoke. Still gonna need a reload next round, though. Now I'm hoping that the we've got two. Have we even got three mesmerized enemies? It's at least two anyway, so hopefully. Yes! yes! That should kind of. Yeah, there we go. Come here and fight me! Yeah, this is all fine. This is all good. The more turns we can use up. Oh, is he dead already, though? That's a shame. Running away. Good one. Skeleton moving in from there. Just a couple more normal ones. We've got this one as well. Yeah, this is all. This is all okay. This drum's poisoned as well now. The, strum, the stress on Strum should actually be getting quite high. Okay, so we, we're going to need a reload. Nothing we can do about that. Now, do we take this while we've got it? You know, I think I'm going to do. This That's is how we get say hello. Damage, stress break, and this guy. Yep, that's fine. Blinded as well. Now then. Um, what can she finish off? She can finish that one off. Um, we take this. The veil descends. You could teach me a few things. We take this. And I think we're probably pretty safe to take this as well. Um, yeah, we'll take Mesmerize here. Um, what can we hit with Curse? Can we get Strum with Curse? That'd be great. No. Can we get Strum with... Oh, it's not. We could get him with this, could we? Yeah, we can get him with that. got monuments not gonna hit. Um or we just move oh we got grenade. We can get him with a grenade actually. We can get these two with a grenade. I think is she I mean she's probably pretty safe to leave here without an evade I would think. I don't think like this one's still mesmerized so that one should be busy with that. The skeleton looks like it's in fact that's mesmerized now as well anyway. So they should all be busy with, with the mesmerizers I think. So, do you know what? I think I might take this. Yeah, I think I'll take this. Um, now, she's going to need a reload. Hopefully... Get okay. it here. Yeah, that's fine. And now, we can start mopping up with Ingrid. That's fine. Still on three APs now. We do have the stick and move. I don't think we're going to be able to. I don't think we need to worry about anything over here at the moment. That's mesmerized for one more turn. This is for two more turns. Strum is going to be busy with these, and he's actually almost stress broken as well. Um, 
So the question now is... Do we bother? I mean, this guy, we're not going to be too far off killing. A glass jar. You, um... You're very good at what you do. Yeah, we, sh we can finish this one. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to kill any of the others. So we can take this. And then we can take... Ooh. No, that's tempting, actually. Yeah, I think I'll take this. My shirt! And then she gets the free move, so she can then come all the way around here. I think she's pretty safe to leave there. I don't think anyone's gonna get any any shots on her this this turn. He'll have his hands full with this guy. This is all pretty good stuff. <laughs> I am protected, you fools. Must be good. Uh -huh. so there's the heal. Now the question there is, um, in fact, that doesn't really matter because we were, we were more concentrating on uh, stress breaking him anyway. I'm not sure how often he can heal. That. Oh, she has took a shot there. Probably was pushing my luck a bit there, but as long as she doesn't take any more, she should be alright. She can heal as well. Okay, so um, let's think about this. Take the shots here. It is the only way. Um, so these are not mesmerised anymore. This one still is for one more turn, I think. Okay, so we'll go and finish this guy off. This will get me some heals and Pain some uh, APs. Three AP. What can Eddie hit here? Not actually too much. Um, that's not great either. So Celestine, we have got the choice of Mesmerising again here, um, if we wanted to do. Yeah, I think I might. I think I might do that. This we're not actually doing too bad here. So we'll take this. We'll mesmerise this one. So we shouldn't need to worry about anything over here again, really. Um, now then, um, Scryer, can we hit this one with Bullseye? Yeah, we can. So, can we reach Eddie with this? Yeah, we can. So we'll buff, Results, not we'll buff excuses. Eddie's damage. Um, we will mark this, because that's probably our biggest threat at the moment, this skeleton. And then we'll hit that one with Bullseye. That should do a ton of damage. Take both of these shots. Y'all see that? Another crit, Another Another crit on shot. both, that's great. And then she may as well take the shot on this one. Jasmine Harsley for doing what must be done. And then really, um, I think again over here we don't need to worry about any of these. These are all going to be 
keep him busy. This one is still mesmerised for one round, this is for two. So they're all going to be keeping each other really busy, I think. So she's only got two APs here. Um, in fact, you know what? This That's not going to quite be a kill, is it? I think we'll take this and then do we take this or do we take the evade I think I'm going to take this fight. because he's the only one who can really hit us if this guy comes over which he may do we've got the fire immunity anyway Oh, we got an extra AP there. What was that from? I'm not here. I'm to not sure what we games. got that for actually. That was from using our signature. I'm not sure what that was. Yeah, I think he's actually stress broken now, so that's Call. Face your dead. Yeah, this is all pretty decent. We I mean hopefully now can we get can we actually get rid of him then? The question is can we get close enough? Okay, what's going on here? So let's finish this one off first. And I think what we'll do is we'll move over here and see if it gives me... Yeah, it does. So will this be... You think you can kill me? No. Didn't think it'd be that simple, actually, I have to say. That's a shame. So he, he, <laughs> no. No, and he can't be not like knocked this. down either. Question is, do I have enough damage? Um, I'm gonna have to move. I not even see him from there. Yeah, I can. The steel, bright and sharp. Well, surely I can get rid of him if I reduce his health to zero, can I? You even if he can't be stress broken. I have mine. Can he literally not be killed then, or? Day of execution. Okay. At least we bought ourselves some time he recovers. Well, hopefully, he stays gone and doesn't come back in a few turns' time. I like our odds a bit better. I now. really would hope that's the case. is hopefully got enough yeah got enough to finish this one off now who have we even got left now I think it's just mainly um, scarabs I think it's just these two summoners and the scarabs. I think that's it. I think that is all we've got. So we'll take a reload while we've uh, got the chance. Hmm. 
Not so fast. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Okay, so now... Um, we've just got this one no hard summoner feelings. left. The I gods think. smile upon us tonight. At least I think we have. I think that's all we've got left. The only trouble is, we can't actually see it with anybody else, so what we'll probably have to do is just do a stick and move, I think. You can keep up. Oh, we got the knockdown anyway, in which case, right, we can just leave it then. We can just keep her here. Um, and take the hits. Isn't that a lovely sight? else we need to do. I regret that it came to this. Bravo! If you have peace to make. Make it now. Very nice. If I must build peace on the okay, foundation of blood and bone, it, so, so be it. You know, I think that probably was the best thing we could have done there. Um, I think if we'd have risked going forwards, um, trying to run for it or whatever, I think it would have been. I think it would have been worse. This way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I will just quickly look at the end here. And if that journal isn't here, which it doesn't look like it is, I am just going to quickly, before I. Uh, I won't record all this, but I'll just quickly pause the video here pick it up back here and I'll just quickly go back and look for that uh, missing journal. Okay, so I've come back to the beginning here, near the beginning of the pyramid, and there was a do there was a clickable door where we'd read that one before that said about there was a hidden door. Um, once we've read that, it basically made it so that I could click this wall and open it. And there's a journal here, but this isn't the one we're looking for, actually. Um, Chanterfield is dead by her own hand. I found her body in me in the sanctum, draped over the red sulphur. Her body was draped with relics from my pavilion tent. Not the wardstones I keep on my body, but the amplifiers. Symbols of wrath and ruin. When I approached the body, it lunged at me. There was fire in its eyes, the beautiful blue fire that consumes the world in my dreams. The damnable grouse had given me my great destroyer, used my own treasures to do it, and, I, and it had clawed its way back from oblivion to murder me. So this, I'm guessing, will lead out to the area that, um, yeah, that we could see from the outside. But I don't know. Let me hold on to this. Whether it's going to be out here or not. Shrum's journal. Uh, my great destroyer would have torn me apart if I hadn't shoved my bodyguard into its path. <laughs> what it did to that boy was illuminating. It had it sub I had it subdued when we fired and moved to my workshop. The exercise cost me 20 men. How long can a cadaver hang onto its hatred, I wonder? And what secrets might I extract from it before that hatred fades? I must be prudent. The creature still wants me dead. I will have the tunnel between my workshop and the inner sanctum sealed with a sturdy hatch. Better safe than sorry, but I will uncover them. Mark my words. I am nothing if not persistent. Seric steel. That's a big, a big uh, find. Um, I guess we just take this. I don't think it really matters. A souvenir. So it's not in here. Um, it's not in there. So I'll have another quick look around, and uh, I'll let you know if I find it. So I've been back through the whole map and I can't find that other journal anywhere so um, I've no idea where that is. I've got all the ones I can see 
Um, so it's annoying leaving that at 5 out of 6, but I cannot find it at all, so... Anyway, that went pretty well, I would think. A shard of red sulfur now flies towards this island. There seems no doubt the crystal originates inside the Tomb of the Everlasting. Perhaps our predecessors of five millennia tried to seal it away behind those walls to protect the rest of the world from its blight. How different might today's world be if not for the brave efforts of people whose names we'll never know? Okay, so the blacksmith is the one we're using, so don't think we need that on anybody else. That could be handy, grant a teammate plus three speed for two rounds. And after dodging an attack, this agent becomes inspired and recovers five health. Now, does an evade count as a dodge? I'm guessing it does. Um, but I don't really think that there's anything I want to replace. So, yeah, I think we're just going to discard those. Speed wad could have been handy in certain uh, situations, but... So the red sulfur, the source of Strum's mysterious powers, is revealed to us at last. With a sample that my agents recovered, I will sever the connection between Strum and his magic and put an end to the crystal's horrible curse. So Strum job is complete. We have obtained Wolfram Strum's red sulfur, the source of his power over life and death. This will be of use. So Aether and supplies there. Worth the effort. Good. And intelligence and supplies there, so that's fine. So again, these are all just as expected. Red Sulphur, the source of Strum's flame magic. His command over the dead, his youth and vitality. You found it. It grew within the tomb, feeding off bodies Strum had left there. I'm not surprised. I've long suspected that red sulfur is life itself. Or rather, stolen life. In crystalline form, Strum waters it with human blood and harvests it to animate his mummies. Guess we know why the ancient Egyptians didn't want that place to be found. Now that the heist is complete, we will put Strum's map where it belongs. In the fire. I will add this sample to the atropic device. When the time comes, we will sever Strum's connection to this wretched crystal. I know all about Martolok. Tell me about the others. I provided briefing materials on each of the court's great houses. I'm looking for the stuff that didn't make it into the files. What can you tell me about Strum? Hmm. I crossed paths with Strum for the first time in 1912. I was a much younger man then, of course, but Strum looked the same as he does today. Immortality? Yes, or something close to it. I didn't know it at the time, of course. It was February in St. Petersburg. We needed information. I had just managed to get a goat to a trusted Herospex. Yeah, I don't know what that is. A kind of fortune teller. She was beginning her reading when Strum burst in. He didn't see me, and I needed things quiet. So I chose my knife instead of my pistol. Sounds risky. Yes. Strum shook off what should have been half a dozen lethal wounds before throwing me out the flat's window like a doll. Luckily, the deep snow broke my fall. Then, from the street below, I watched him burn the Haruspex and her flat to the ground. There was nothing I could do. No prisoners. Indeed. Strum is brutal and efficient. He's no fool, but he's not the schemer the other two are. He takes the shortest path to his enemy's throat. When you see him out there, 
you would be wise to keep your distance. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so sudden swell. As the globe global uptick in mysterious drowning continues, the Nicastro's cult's ranks begin to swell. With luck, the League could use the cult's gluttony for fresh recruits against it, but whoever they send will be taking a terrible risk. Uh, okay, so we, again, we don't want to do nothing. Send a hired killer and scatter a cult. I mean, we don't want Celestine unavailable, so yeah, we'll send a hired killer for this. Practitioner assassins are as rare as they are expensive, but the one that Locke hires more than earns his pay. By the day's end, two Nicastro priests lie dead, their daggers buried in one another's throats. The incident slows the cult's recruitment efforts, for the moment at least. That's fine. So, I would imagine, um, like, this is going to surpass next time. We can't stop both of these. Um, in fact, they are all going to hit a break point this week. Um, so, Nicastro is... Inflicts additional stress when Milan critical hits. This is just Lacuna Shades. Void Whale hits a wider cone. And Reaver attacks leave burning hazards. So... I mean, none of them are really too bad, but we will be prioritising Strum because that's the highest one up. Um, I did think the heist actually would have set Strum back a bit more than it than it has done there, but um, we will probably, I would think, just having a quick look at these, like this is a King's E for this one. Um, yeah, I, I, we're probably going to be doing this one, I, I think. The only trouble is with this, we've got Strum, is, uh, Scion is, is there again. Um, and Sarcophagi containing... So that's, yeah, I mean, that's not fantastic, actually. But I don't really fancy him getting to this, uh... Him getting to this breakpoint, um... Like this is the next, this is the high setup for um, Marteau, so that's gonna be one that we're gonna want to do pretty soon as well. Obviously, there's these Keystone recovery missions. Um, we could do that to keep the Castro below that one. That's not gonna make much difference. That's not gonna make much difference either. But don't really want Strum to be hitting this. I'm not overly too bothered about this actually. The Reaver attacks leaving burning hazards. I'm not. That's not that big of a deal, but. He's getting a bit close to this, and if he reaches this, he's, he's always going to be kind of... I don't know if there's a way of knocking him back past previous breakpoints, so... Um, it's kind of tempting to keep him away from that, really. But I think this is what we're going to have, you know. We are going to have to just deal with these rising up as, as the game carries on. I mean, it may be that we just let it run and maybe carry on with, with this one or one of the keystone recovery missions maybe I'm not sure but yeah we'll decide on that next time I mean that went pretty well I think on the whole pretty uh, pretty strong group and no real problems what is it so, um, Let's... we'll decide on what to do next time but yeah we're going to take a break there so thanks for uh, watching the video hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe Thanks for watching again and we'll see you all in the next one.